The number one is Airlift 88204. The bags in the Airlift 88204 are made with premium Goodyear rubber, ensuring they'll be able to put up with all kinds of abuse. They come with internal bounce jumpers, so you can run without inflation them and not sacrifice any comfort. This product is available on Amazon for $360. This product has average 4.5 stars from more than 100 customer reviews, a customer said. I have a 2016 to 1500 Chevy Silverado Z71 4x4. Most of the year a half-ton truck does the job, but the other parts of the year it would be better having a three-quarters ton. I pull trailers on the farm, from cows, to hay, to fertilizer, etc. Since installing this kit on my truck it has completely changed how my truck pulls the loads. I find that the truck pulls easier since the load is supported by the air bags and the truck remains level. The instructions were very clear, however due to my OCD, installation took a little longer due to how I ran my airlines etc. So far I am extremely satisfied and would highly recommend. Another happy customer said. Work well and like the added capacity and ride height improvement. Connected both side together in one air circuit. This way the pressure is the same for both sides, while towing the trailer. I find that keeping 4 to 5 psi in system works well. When weight is added, the pressure rises up to the needed system loaded pressure, approximately 24 to 27 psi, to keep the truck level. The unloaded ride is a bit rougher, but not bad, hence 4 star rating. One could reduce the pressure to 1 psi if needed, yes, you can run 0 psi if wanted. I prefer some air in system. If you are going to connect both sides together you will need the Airlift Union T21838. Mounted my air fill in the rear bumper under the spare tire lock, there is a plastic filler panel there and is easy to drill a hole. Be sure that it is low enough not to interfere with the spare tire lock in a 2015-2017 Silverado. Also ran lines through the frame using existing frame holes from the axle back to bumper. Very clean install. I have airlift air bags in the rear springs on another. An unhappy customer said. These airbags themselves are great quality, but the installation hardware is poor, and you are required to discard valuable stock parts. The good, one, airbags are made with high-quality Goodyear rubber. 2. Mounting brackets are heavy-duty and well-made. 3. The internal jounce bumpers seem like a good idea, and allow the bags to run with no air. The bad. 1. The installation requires that several hose and wiring brackets be discarded. These do actually serve a purpose, keeping brake lines and wires from rubbing and chafing. There is no provision in the kit to secure these lines, and the potentially could lead to a serious problem if wires get cut, or brake lines wear through. 2. The installation on a 2011 GM truck requires you to fish a couple bolts through small frame holes. To secure that bolt, it is pretty tricky to drop a socket in the hole, then attach the socket to the ratchet inside the frame. The ugly, one, the installation call for two large frame clamps to reposition the e-brake cable, but only one is included in the kit. This is not an accidental omission either, since the parts list explicitly specifies one. Has no one noticed this problem in three years, two? The second product on our list is Tough Country 74407. Hauling heavy materials in your truck's bed can take a toll on your stock coils and shocks and cause sagging. The Tough Country 74407 is designed to increase the amount of weight your suspension can handle and the pressure can even be adjusted to fit your needs. This product is available on Amazon for $309, check out the link in the YouTube description below. The Number 3. Firestone Ride Right Air Helper. 
The Firestone Ride Right Air Helper is suitable for supporting loads weighing anywhere between 3,000 and 5,000 pounds, making it a great choice for use in a pickup truck whose bed regularly gets filled with lots of gear or building materials. This product is available on Amazon for $353. There are 107 reviews which average rating is 4.4 stars for this product, a customer said. I have to say that this product made the world of difference in ride of my truck and handling of the 12,000 pounds fifth wheel RV that I tow. Handling was tenfold improved, the air springs leveled out the ride and the stability increased safety enormously. There are a few challenges on installation, an extra set of hands might have helped. Take your time, read the instructions several times, and follow the installation procedure. Time to install, do not hurry, was about 4 to 5 hours. Make sure you have ratcheting wrenches in addition to the normal hand tools and ratchet sets. Also, make sure you take off the spare tire, put the vehicle up on jack stands and give yourself plenty of room to work. Watch where your brake lines are located and electrical connections so not to pinch. Another happy customer said. I had their previous version of this kit on a 2006 F250 diesel and wasn't so impressed with the lower brackets. This revision is a huge improvement. Also please note that if you have a diesel this is the one you want. I can't remember the other part number kit that is similar for the gas motors but it comes up in a search. The difference in the two kits is the bracket for the left side has an offset bolt hold and cutout for the DPF system. This is the 6.7 diesel kit. The number 4. Airlift 60818. If you aren't ready to get rid of your coil springs entirely, the Airlift 60818 fit inside of them to give your suspension extra support. They offer an impressive 1,000 pounds of leveling capacity and the installation requires no modifications. The price approximately $81. The average rating of this product is 4.7 stars with more than 1532 customer reviews, a customer said. Airbags worked great. Pictures are before and after. No squat in the after picture. Bags inflated to 40 pounds sigh. Well worth the price. Fixed the unsightly squat and there is a noticeable difference in the feel of the rear suspension while towing. No longer does the suspension feel like it is being weighed down. You will not be disappointed with this product. Specs, 2014 Ram 1500 with towing package camper dry weight 4,650 pounds. Another happy customer said. I was a bit leery about these at first, but thought I'd give them a shot. Installed them on my 2010 Dodge Ram 1504 X4. Here is a tip that will save you a lot of time and frustration, get a set of spring compressors, they loan them free at O'Reilly or AutoZone, and raise your truck up, pull the spring out very easy, and just slip the airbag right down in the spring with no effort, connect the air line, and reinstall the spring. I cannot imagine doing this the way they show in their instructional video. The material is a lot thicker and stronger, especially when cold, than it appears in the videos, and would have been almost impossible to feed through the spring in place. At any rate, these work great. Very pleased. An unhappy customer said. Update. After hooking up the airbags a second time, leaving ample line to prevent kinking, I filled them to 20 pounds. They held, and I lowered them to 10 pounds, leaving that as my minimum. That was in September. I checked the bags tonight in order to haul my camper tomorrow, and found that the air had emptied from both. I filled one airbag to 35 pounds, and attempted to fill the other, without success. As it was late, dark, and cold, I have not climbed under the truck to check the lines, but the airbag is behaving as before, as if the airline is kinked. I did a fair amount of research before I purchased and installed these airbags. I prefer to do what I am capable of myself, both to save money and because I feel that I have some mechanical skills and competence. 
I followed the instructions, as well as researched these on YouTube. My installation matched what I had viewed, and yet, these bags still failed. I do not recommend their purchase. If you need airbags, spend more money and purchase something that works, or have better bags professionally installed. We recently traveled out west with our The number 5. DEDC Pair R350 Anyone driving a Mercedes should think about putting the DEDC Pair R350 in their car. You can hook them up with very little disassembly and they offer a great compromise between suspension stiffness and a comfortable ride quality. The price approximately $130. There are 19 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 5 stars, a customer said. 2010 Mercedes-Benz R350 4MATIC car had a lean on driver's side with pump constantly running. Replaced pair, perfect fit. Installation was a one-hour breeze with no major disassembly required. Car took a few minutes to reset and has been level since. Saved me a lot of money. Another happy customer said. Installed on a 2008 W251. Mercedes R320. So far so good. Will update if either fails. The number 6. Airlift 57396. The Airlift 57396 comes with everything you need to get the rear wheels of your truck ready to support seriously sized loads. The airbags in this system help to eliminate sagging and bottoming out issues, even over especially rough or bumpy terrain. This product is available on Amazon for $298, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 342 reviews which average rating is 4.6 stars for this product, a customer said. First of all, the airlift team was very responsive to me when I had an air leak issue with one of the bag connections. For that I give them a 5 star rating. A couple parts, screws and washers, were missing, but I have an assortment on hand. Installation time by some reviewers is well understated. Unless you have a full lift, to allow you to stand under the truck and reach some of the difficultly accessible screws and bolts, plan on spending an entire days doing the installation. Laying on your back on a creeper, going back and forth under the truck to retrieve parts and tools, and rereading the instructions and trying to figure out which M bolt is to be used, delay the installation by several hours. I'm quite mechanically proficient and have been turning wrenches for 60 years, yet this installation took a full day. Unless you enjoy laying on your back and working in tight spaces, have a local garage do the installation. It should be mentioned, although not in the instruction, assembly sheet, removing the driver side rear shock, is the only way that you can get the assembled airbag into. Another happy customer said. Installed on a 2011 Ford F250 Super Duty. Just got done installing these. I can't say it was a difficult install but wasn't easy. No fault to the product, but to the fact that I'm not a mechanic, I'm a carpenter. After watching all the videos and reading the installation instructions I figured I could tackle this. You only need some basic tools, ratchets, wrenches, torque wrench, floor jack and jack stands which I didn't have. Thought I could tackle this without the floor jack and just use a bottle jack and I did, but it was a battle. Some points I would like to point out, drop the spare tire and get out of your way. The jounces I had trouble with the bolts and eventually got the sawzall out and just cut them off. Followed the instructions word for word. After installing the top brackets and going to install the bellows, I had trouble getting the bellows in place, the only reason is because of my lack of floor jack. So what I did was took a bottle jack and raised the frame about 4 inches, took off the top brackets, put the bellows in place and Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.